get the radio? Did you get the radio? No, you didn't get the radio. Hug me, Jeff. Come on. Hug me. Put it outside. We're not doing it in the back. Beer. Bring the I just got you one. All right. Now I got two. Give me that. What are you doing? Cooler. Come on, people. Give me a full one. This is full. This is the one you didn't finish last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, two to what? Did you get the radio? Yeah, mm -hmm. you got it. Oh, Take care. a terminal with a, about a 175 car freight train and I was slowing down and I started to blow on a whistle for this road crossing I saw the teenage girl in the middle of the track with her back to me I applied the brakes in emergency and we kept blowing the whistle and even the conductor opened the door and started hollering to get off the track. Look up! Hey, she doesn't see you! She's not moving, Ike. Get out of the way! She never turned around and looked hey, back. Move! Hey, I think we hit her! 300 feet from the road crossing, we hit the little girl. And before we even got back, to where she was, the ambulance was on the scene and treating her. There was nothing we could do, absolutely nothing. But it's a very dramatic experience to be there when that child's mother approached the crossing and found out it was her daughter. They did the best they could and they rushed to the general hospital and she did live six hours. She lived until midnight. You'll never forget it. I mean, you know, you try to put it in the back of your mind. You'll never forget it. And uh, it's just a shame, you know, to waste a life like that. It's not only bad on the families and the victims, but it's bad on us, too. It's just something that's real hard to live with. When you walk the railroad tracks and don't look in either direction. You are absolutely in a no-win situation. You cannot win. We were on a short train, maybe 25, 30 cars, and we were going west. We came around to a trestle. I looked out on the middle of the trestle, and there was a man. I could tell he was a hunter. And when I saw him, he was taking those short steps. That's a hunter on the bridge, on the bridge. Hold tight, break coming up. I immediately put the brake in emergency. My train slowed. I looked up and he began to take long strides, maybe maybe 10, 12 cross ties at a time. The train began to slow up. I said, Lord, let it stop, please. I just blow on the whistle and trying to get him to jump off. And as I went by him, he jumped and cleared the trestle. And he looked at me and like he says, well, why don't you just run over me? That's the idea that he had. He thought I was going to stop and let him use the bridge. And when he got through with it, we'd run a train. 
Tried me and tried to kill me. He couldn't stop me. If he only knew what I was going through. Man, it's crazy. I didn't want to run over the man. It's gotta be crazy. Now, people say a train can't stop, but it can stop, but it can't stop quickly. Here's a shortcut. This is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm fairly a uh, new engineer. Okay. It was a nice, nice day, sunny day. Oh man, the oil's leaking. Oh man. Damn. Come on, let's get it off the track and fix it. Yeah. We were going around the curve. Came around the curve, and here's two boys, uh, 11, 12 years old, and they had their motorcycle or mini bike stuck on the tracks. Come on, let's get out of here. The train's coming. Come they were trying desperately to get that bike off the track, and I'd put the train in emergency immediately. It takes a while for the brake to set up and to get it stopped. Everybody thinks the train can just stop. Hey, boys, hey, hey, don't you leave. Yeah, we've had a motorcycle up here around mile post 51, and uh, nobody was hurt, but we, we did hit the motorcycle going down now to talk to the two kids. Oh! Are you okay? Stay right there. What are y'all boys doing on the railroad tracks? How come you didn't get out of the way when I blew the horn the first time? Did you know I can't stop that train on a dime? Oh, oh, what are you doing? You're on the track, what? What are y'all doing up here? They you almost got killed. Up there. Adam, I can't believe you went up there. They heard my voice over the locomotives, how loud I was screaming. And uh, when I got to talk to them down on the ground, they said, uh, said well, I said, what, what were y'all doing? He said, well, we finally heard you screaming, so we got out of the way. So evidently, they thought I was going to stop before I hit it. I'm Special Agent Pete Ramey with Norfolk Southern Police Department. Can you tell me what happened? Yeah, they were had their motorcycle stuck on the railroad tracks, and uh, they had, had it hung up, and I blew the whistle. And stayed and stayed, and finally jumped out of the way at the last moment. Do you know how long it takes a train to stop? It takes a train a long time to stop. It takes the train approximately a mile and a half to stop. You boys know that it's against the law to trespass on railroad property? No, I don't know. We've told We've them, told them told hundreds them. of times to stay off those but tracks. It's against the law to walk between the rails, cross over the tracks, or to even drive or walk along the right of way. It's against the law. You boys were very lucky today. It's one of the most frightening things that's ever happened to me. But the good thing about it was a good ending. And it enters your mind every time, every time that you go go around every time I go around that curve I'm expecting to see something there but that's I guess eventually that that will wear off maybe not Hey! 
Come on, Mark. Hey, we're gonna go get some beer. beer. Yeah, leave him. I don't want him to puke in my truck. Come on. Come on. Hey, get in that truck. <laughs> You could tell something was in the tracks, but you couldn't tell what it was. It's somebody always laying something on the rail for you to hit. Rocks on the rail, spikes, anything that they can find. Need an ambulance over here. We hit someone. What's wrong with him? He's dead. He got ran over by the train. Don't run over this. Where'd this train come from? Trains come through here all the time. No, no they never come through what here. Guys doing, here. What are you doing time. down here? We were just drinking a few beers. What were you doing down here drinking? You leave them laying on the tracks? Man, there's, there's train, there's trains train. come through here all the time. The trains never come through here. Brakeman was screaming there was a man in the tracks. I grabbed all that brake I could get. He was hit. No question about that. When were y'all up here? Um, earlier today. <laughs> I just saw his head raise up. That's all I saw. The snow plow had taken his head off, took him out of his shoes, and the only thing I hit on him was his head. His head, there was no other mark on him other than that. I have no idea why anybody would be possessed to lie on a railroad track. None whatsoever. Thank you.